with, but that's alright. Hush. T129 AT aka is a twin engine, tandem seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter. The helicopter is designed for attack, armed reconnaissance, precision strike and deep strike missions, at day and night, regardless of weather conditions. Philippines Department of Defense, confirmed that the Philippines Air Force have selected the Turkish-made, T129 attack helicopter. The F-A-50 is the only 21st century, South Korean supersonic advanced trainer and light attack aircraft. It is designed with the state-of-the-art technology, and to have high-tech avionics. It intended to serve as a cut-price supersonic fighter with fourth-generation avionics. 12 F-A-50PH is already in service with Philippine Air Force. In June 2018, it was discussed that the Philippine Air Force is reviewing the possibility of acquiring 12 more units. The AW-159 Wildcat is the latest generation multi-rule, multi-mission maritime and utility helicopter. It has been specifically designed to operate in the most challenging maritime environments. It is fitted with a range of anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare weapon systems. In March 2016, Augusta Westland secured a 100 million euros contract, with the Philippines for two helicopters, along with training and support. The Philippine Navy will receive Wildcat in March 2019. The SSM-700K, Hesong anti-ship missile is a ship-launched, sea-skimming surface-to-surface anti-ship cruise missile, developed by the South Korea. Philippine Navy will use SSM-700K, anti-ship missile for its upcoming, modified HDF-2600 frigates warship. The Raytheon MIM-23 Hawk is an American medium-range surface-to-air missile. The Philippines Department of National Defense is looking at the possibility of acquiring improved and enhanced versions of the Raytheon MIM-23 Hawk surface-to-air missiles. The JAS-39 Gripen is an excellent low-cost fourth-generation fighter with latest technology, and can perform multi-role missions. It is the deadly fighter jet that is cheap, easy to maintain and can kill anything. According to the Department of National Defense Philippines, the agency is planning to buy the Swedish made Gripen multi-role supersonic jet fighter, for the Philippine Air Force over the U.S. offer of F-16V Block 70. Modified HDF-2600 is the latest multi-purpose, powerful and stealthy frigate. It is heavily armed with missiles, torpedo, guns and sensors controlled by the latest combat management system. Philippines awarded contract to Hyundai Heavy Industries, to build two modern frigates. Delivery is scheduled for 2020. Chengju PCC-762 is a class of general-purpose corvettes, operated by the South Korean Navy. The decommissioned South Korean warship of the Pohang class corvettes, will be delivered to the Philippine Navy in 2019. It will be named as BRP Conrado Yap, PS-39. The A-29 Super Tucano is a low-cost, light-attack aircraft. It carries a wide variety of weapons, including precision-guided munitions, and was designed for counter-insurgency, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance missions, as well as providing pilot training. Philippines Air Force ordered six Super Tucano and deliveries will commence in 2019. The Assault Amphibious Vehicle AAV-7A1 is the latest amphibious landing vehicle. Philippines have ordered 8 units and will be delivered in 2019.
Philippine Navy will soon acquire K-745 Chung Sang Mo torpedoes from South Korea. This light anti-submarine torpedo can be deployed from surface ships, ASW helicopters and maritime patrol aircraft. The Kardam Hatchet is an Israeli 120mm recoil mortar system. The Kardam is an autonomous, computerized system for mounting on light and medium armored carriers. The system provides accurate and effective fire support. Soltam Systems has one contract to supply Soltam Kardam to the Philippine Army. Multi-Purpose Attack Craft, MPACMK-4 is a type of fast attack assault craft developed for the Philippine Navy. In February 2016, the Philippines Department of National Defense awarded the contract to build new MPACMK-4, which are larger than the current ones in service, to Propmet Corporation in Lung Tashipyar Joint Venture. It will be equipped with Mini Typhoon 12.7mm remote control weapon system, Spike ER surface-to-surface -surface missiles, plus ammunition and ILS. Cohort C will provide torpedo launcher systems for Philippines Navy. C has won an order to provide Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea with torpedo launcher systems for two new frigates being built for the Philippines Navy.